Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Amira and as you guys already saw in the previews, this is gonna be a very exciting video. It's top takedowns from last month and we have everything. You name it, we have it. <laughs> we have a whip scorpion, we have tarantulas, we have wandering spiders, we have jumping spiders, we have velvet spider, everything in this video. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. Let's get started. It's also really hot in Los Angeles right now. We're going through like a two week long heat wave. So I'm gonna be doing very little talking and just gonna be showing you all these videos. And let's get started with one of the most entertaining feedings ever. Look at her, it is so cute, she looks so cartoony. And at first she didn't get the fly, but then she get like a little kickback. Like I don't know if you guys saw it with her foot. She just like pushed it up front and she got it. I was so proud of her. And this is my Gramostella Pulkra. She is adorable. She really reminds me actually the colors right now of Gramostella Rosea, but should be Gramostella Pulkra as far as I know. And this is the Servalus Huntsman, Cer Servalus Aravansis. I never see her. Actually, for a moment, I thought she was dead. So I was just like, because I saw her there all crawled up and she's usually either hiding in her cork bark. That is basically, I keep it, oh, look at that. She's like a little pit bull. She seriously has a strong bite. She has a like, I, I can really feel it. And this is a dubia roach that has a hard shell. Sometimes huntsmen have a problem with it, but not her. But yeah, what I was gonna say, she's usually hiding in one of the cork barks. She has like a hollow cork bark there, or she built like a burrow in her, in the sand and she hides there. And I think they usually do it because where they come from, it's really hot. So I assume that it's like their escape from the heat during the day. And yeah, she is a beast. I was super happy that she actually came out and I really wanted her to turn a little bit. So I was just like, hey, let me move you a little bit so I can get some pictures. And look how docile she was. I couldn't even believe it because she is like a really grumpy spider and I almost never get any footage of her. But not this time. This time I got really lucky. footage of the Cerebalus that you guys just saw was actually taken with my OM-1 that's my new Olympus camera and it's really cool for these videos because I can do macro but in a slow motion so basically all if you're doing handheld all these little waves and everything it's just translate over basically a space of eight times longer so basically if you would have like in two three frames like a little wobble right now it's like 16 frames so it's gonna be shh. so really cool just so you guys know okay let's keep going and this is another pretty fun feeding. This is my Syria Cosmos Elegance and look, this is actually in slow motion. That's why the fly moves like this. She was like, no, I don't want any food. And the fly was like really insisting. She was like, no, eat me, have a lunch, have something to eat. And she was like, no, I don't want a lunch. And the fly was just like, ugh. You tarantula, you need to get your nutrients. This is a lunch. You need to eat your food. So she goes like, okay, you're right. Let me do it. <laughs> And here we got another one that I actually don't see very often and this is my big scorpion. I saw these ones in the nature and he's actually sensing that there is a fly. And look at, did you guys see how those fangs, like how they kind of like extended? Let me show it to you real quick. So that's pretty cool. Huh? I didn't know that they actually impale their prey from both sides. That is pretty intense. They're one of the very few feedings that I got with this one of the camera and this is probably the one that's the best visible because wow, I can never get over it how cool that looks. And here we got quick tarantula feedings. I'm saying quick because they are pretty quick. This is Harpactera pulcripes. I have a couple of them. I have a sling and I have a... I wanna say sub adult. We will see. This is its second actually feeding. I like this one because it's actually taken with the macro camera so you can actually see those fangs going in. Looks much bigger, huh? But it's actually the same sling. <laughs> well, I could be pretending that that's the adult, huh? Nah, you would probably know. You would probably know, guys. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? I love those blue legs. And here we got another quick one, and this is my Psalmopeus Herminia. And I also almost never see her, and I'm hoping it's her because she's growing kind of slow, and I don't know if there's anything behind it, but I kind of notice that some of the males, they grow up much faster than females, but who knows. Okay, I'm going from fast to even faster. Did you guys see the jump? How cool is that? And this is my Parilestis Scutatus Huntsman. She is a bit grumpy when I actually point light at her, so we're just gonna see her, you know, to take off. 
and here she is again and this is a different day feeding she's already actually eating one fly and i'm keep i'm kind of feeding her a little bit more because i want her to mature because i have a mature man and look at this oh, so, oh she's nice that she takes it she's so proper and this is a slow motion too guys just so you know she moves a lot faster i'm just taking advantage of that new macro setup that i got and the final huntsman feeding is insane bowie look at that this is one of my slings I kept 8 from, you know, the hatch that I had of 180. Let's continue with true spiders, I have a lot more to show you. And I also have some tarantula safe for later. Here the fly is like, oh, nothing going on here, huh? Let me just like walk around, she doesn't see that cool spider below her. She doesn't see that cool white and black spider just chilling in there. That is a mistake, that is a great mistake that she's making and look at that. I love when they do like flips and they don't care, you know, they just kind of like go for it. They're just like, whatever, you know, so what's all eating on my back? You know, just got a chill siesta time, you know, no big deal. And this is a little intermission with my Piloctanus, and this is the male, and wow, these guys are so awesome. So actually I don't have a cool feeding of him, but I just wanted to guys show you how cool they look, those red fangs. They are super secretive, but I'm trying to pair them up right now, so we will see what's gonna happen. That would be really awesome to get these. I had an egg sack, but it didn't, it, it just went bad, I don't know why. And some jumping spider footage, and this is my Hylas DRD. And look at this boy, mm -hmm. he is so cute. And what I like about these, look at that, that was a slow motion too. And what I like about these spiders is basically that I have one species of jumping spiders, but it actually feels like I have two species because the males are so like different from the females. There is a strong sexual dimorphism and the males are black and the females are kind of like yellow and fuzzy and you guys are gonna see feeding of the female next. This is me just putting the male back into his enclosure. So here is the female and she's kind of hiding under the plexiglass until I can really look at her. Wow, another slow motion jump. I'm still trying to get something really cool where I would actually have her slow motion jump and then she would kind of like turn towards the camera. Couldn't really get there this time because even though it looks like it's a long footage but it is actually like happening in just like seconds. And look at that, she's got that security line on that acrylic and look at her tail, look at her tail, look at her spinnerets working there, like her, her abdomen is like extending. She's just still staying secure to that acrylic enclosure, she's not letting go until she feels safe. These Hylas DRD juveniles are probably the most skittish jumping spiders that I've ever kept. They are captive bred, so you would kind of expect that they're gonna be kind of mellow, get kind of used to opening the enclosures and stuff, but no, they are so skittish. And they don't hesitate to run out on me. Some of them actually like to drop down and play dead, but always something, there's always a little drama with them, but you know, it's part of the fun. And something for you Eresus Velvet Spider Lovers, here is our Coco, this is our female Eresus Valkinari. And you guys may be familiar with her because we did a couple of videos with her, she is really cool, I think she is mold away from maturing. And here I'm actually feeding her banana roach, and this is a slow motion and she's also like a little pit bull, huh? she just goes through everything, but unfortunately for her she missed the roach this time. And I knew she's gonna actually go after it once she feels the roach moving around again So just give her a little bit more time and then I came back and then this is already a real speed The way they hunt is kind of interesting because I they usually just grab a limb or like a, you know Like a leg or antenna or something like that of the prey Drag it into their hideout into their like a nest and then they start delivering those more potent bite into the body And you guys might see it actually here Let's see what's going on because I actually just cut it together like a rough cut and I'm not even sure myself what we're gonna see here. I just remember she had a little struggle with it as you guys can see and I think that's because she grabbed it by its leg. The cockroach was getting away from her and now she's basically delivering those more, more potent bites and I hear they actually have a pretty strong venom. And here is another cool, cool feeding that I wanted to show you and this is my Capienius Getazi and I saw them in Costa Rica, they get so much bigger, this is a wandering spider and I don't see her very often so I was happy I got her for this flap takedowns. And a quick tarantula intermission, this is my male Brahipelma Bomi and I can wait for him to mature because I got a female for him, so exciting. And this is my scorpion, you guys may remember and this is just, you know, I didn't get a chance of him grabbing the food so this is just him eating. And here are some of the tarantulas that I promised. 
and another spider I don't get to see very often. This is my Poselteria regalis. Well, that's not true. I see her all the time. She's out all the time. What I actually don't see her often is a hunt. So this is I took a I took a chance after my Ibirapura escape. I took a chance for the tongue feeding again, and it worked out this time with this Pocky because I would not want this one to be out because I don't know if you're familiar with these spiders, but they have a little bit more potent venom than the one that escaped. If you guys watch one of my older videos, there was like one tarantula that escaped during a feeding basically doing the same tongue feeding and look at her she's i think she wants to do a, like a happy dance but uh let's see what she does oh no 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 she's going back in okay well see you later and this is the latest addition to spider cafe bright palma auratum and this female is absolutely massive six inches easily i love everything basically that she does i don't know if you guys watch one of our shorts but she kicked her at me and i don't even know why i wasn't even moving or anything i was just like standing there motionless and she just kicked her at me for some reason but it was so cool i was able to record it and here i really like how thick her webbing is look at that it's so crazy huh it's so thick and i'm sure you guys know that but their web is so strong it's actually stronger than a steel Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, notifications button and don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed today's music, it was Basement Character from Germany and T-Bros from Spain and Colombia. If you guys like my t-shirt, this is Raiders of the Lost Ark, but instead of Harrison Ford, we have a heteropoda David Bowie. Which one do you like better? I think the heteropoda David Bowie, huh? Nothing against Harrison Ford, but hey, heteropoda David Bowie. And if you like my hat, go check us out at spidercafe.shop. And that's it from me. Alright guys, I'll see you soon. Ciao.